Hi, today I wanted to show you how I make coffee every day. It's called Café con Leche and it's espresso coffee and milk and I use a coffee kettle to make it. Here's what the final cup looks like and this is the one I use. Um, we got this one on Amazon because a different one that I had that was supposed to have a lifetime warranty broke. So this is the one I use. Start by filling up the reservoir with water up to the little pin that you see. Right there, that's where you add the water to. And then the little percolator goes right inside like this. Then the espresso coffee. And I'll show you the one that I use um, in a little bit but the coffee just gets spooned right into the percolator like this and I just really gently pat it down a little bit um, with the back of the spoon to make space for the coffee to go in and it's kind of practice to get that sweet spot, that amount um, you know, you don't want to pack it too, too much because the water has to go through the percolator into the top section, which you'll see now. So that's what it looks like once I've got the coffee in. And then the top just gets screwed right on top. You screw it on nice and tight so that no coffee seeps through that seam when it is brewing. So here I go, pop it on the stove, and I put it on the tiniest burner on my stove because it's small. <laughs> so then this is the ground espresso coffee that I use, Cafe Bustelo. Uh, I use whatever I can get from the store. I've used Cafe Caribe many times, and um, my favorite is Puerto Rican ground coffee. So I just use these vacuum packed uh, bricks of espresso and I love that says the best coffee is enjoyed with company at the bottom there. And you can see it's in Spanish and English. So there we go. And these are some milks that I use. I really only use oat milk for cold um, beverages and with cereal. Um, when I make it fresh and hot, then I, I prefer the taste of the dairy milk. Um, but I like using oat milk for cold ones. Today, just gonna be dairy. So here's my pot. This is just a stainless steel pot from Ikea. And I'm gonna pour in that milk. I love pouring sounds. And this is going to be enough milk for a cup of coffee for me and one for my husband. So I put the flame on, and this flame is kind of high. Usually I have it a little bit lower than this. And I put the flame under the milk after the coffee's been going for a few minutes. This is what it sounds like when the coffee is brewing. And I gently just move the milk around like that prevent it from getting that skin in the top. So this is what the espresso looks like after it's done. Uh, at that point I turn off the heat on the coffee and just let it sit for a moment until my milk is all steamed. You don't want the milk to boil, you just want to get it nice and steaming hot. So I froth my milk with a little frother. This one that I'm using, I don't particularly recommend the batteries drain really quickly because um, we use it every day. So I would recommend a, a rechargeable one if you're interested in getting a milk frother or just use a whisk. <laughs> just frothing up the milk and yeah, that you can see <laughs> it doesn't really work that well. I need to put a new battery in there. So there's the steamed milk with 
foam. In goes the coffee. And with the milk, I use a spoon to hold back the foam as I pour in the milk. And then I spoon on the foam on top. I don't know how to do any fancy designs. <laughs> and that's it. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you've never seen this coffee method before, I hope you enjoyed this and maybe someday you'll get to give it a try. Cheers everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.